Today we're going to talk about clover. So let's get started. Hello, welcome back to My Green Lawn. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about white clover, good or bad. It's all a matter of opinion, I think. So let's just give a little brief background, make just a short video. What exactly is clover? Clover is a nitrogen soil fixer. It's also part of the bean or pea family, believe it or not. And as we all know, nitrogen is what gives our plants that lush green look, makes our grass grow, makes our plants grow. Nitrogen is also a big part of plant development. So how is clover a nitrogen fixer? So clover has small nodules of nitrogen attached to its roots. It's like white little bumps or white little nodules. Put a picture over here of uh, nitrogen that develops on the roots. And whenever any part of the plant is injured or dies, the roots release that nitrogen into the soil. So for example, if, if you're going to, let's just say you have clover in your lawn and you're cutting your grass. As you're cutting your grass and you're cutting that clover, you're actually injuring the plant and it's really releasing nitrogen into your soil. So with that being said, you would think having clover in your yard is beneficial. Well, we're gonna get there. So we're saying every time you cut your lawn and you cut the clover at the same time, obviously, you're injuring the plant and it's gonna release nitrogen into the soil. That's definitely gonna be beneficial to your lawn. So some people actually th put white clover seeds into their yards, they plant white clover in their lawns to actually help with nitrogen development. So if you allow, clover will take over your lawn. Clover loves when you do not fertilize your lawn. Clover will take advantage of that fact. So clover really grows in lawns that are lacking in nitrogen. And that's where clover will be growing areas lacking nitrogen. Some people, like I said earlier in the video, like to grow white clover in their lawns because when you cut your lawn, you're actually releasing nitrogen into your soil. But your lawn and clover can coexist if you also fertilize your lawn. If you do absolutely no fertilizing at all and you have clover, Clover will take over your lawn. Now many of us do not want clover in our yards or any other weed in our yard. The only thing that we want to see growing in our yard is lush green turf, right? Whatever turf we're growing, a warm season or a cool season lawn. So what do we do instead to get rid of the clover? Ha! Huh. We use a selective herbicide. We can kill the clover using a selective herbicide. Now what I like to do is I like to use a three-way herbicide. That way you have three different products in that one chemical that are going to kill broadleaf or kill weeds. And the reason why we're using a herbicide that is a selective herbicide is we're selecting the weeds that we want to control or kill and we don't want it to harm our turf, what we're trying to grow. So we use a selective herbicide. If you use a non-selective product, it will kill your weeds and your desirable turf. So we want to make sure we use a selective herbicide so that we can kill what we select to kill and we don't want to harm our turf. And always remember, if you're spraying herbicides in the summer, you could, you could do a little bit of damage to your desirable turf but you're probably not going to kill it, but it might turn brown, but it will, should come back. The other time, if you're trying to control clover, the best time to kill clover actually is in the fall. But you can kill clover at any time. Again, you may have to use several treatments, but you will kill it. You, no matter what weed control you decide to use, 
make sure you also add a surfactant. That's going to help it. It's a wetting agent or a sticking agent, and it will help that uh, weed control product to adhere or to stick to the weed blade or leaf. Okay, to kill clover, for example, you can use a product you can get from your big box store, and it'll do a pretty good job of killing your weeds. You'll have pretty good results with the weed control. You can also step up a notch and use Triad. And that's a little stronger of a product and it will also do a good job in killing your weeds. So we will be going out and killing some clover in the next couple of days. So be looking for that video. In the comment fields down below, go ahead and tell us what product you like to use on your weeds or what has worked for you with your clover or if you don't kill your clover tell us about the clover that you're growing in the clover lawn that you're growing go ahead and comment down below if you haven't already done so go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below give our videos a thumb up tell us that you like the video and with that I'll see you in the green you have a great day take care